Welcome guys, it's your boy Shandy Singh. Today I'm bringing you a review over the Moto Motocross Madness City Arcade game for the Xbox 360. It's out on the marketplace right now for 800 Microsoft points. I'll let you watch the VT. After the VT, I'll be back with you. Run VT. That looks <laughs> that looks that looks good. That looks good. I give it that. Anyway, so more than ten years ago, since Motocross Madness 2 hit the PC, Microsoft restructured the fan favourite franchise, the Xbox Live Arcade. This is a new entry. It isn't much like the old Motocross Madness, really, because for as it leans more to the arcade style direction, more than what the originals did. So I don't know if the PC fan would like that as much because the graphics was quite good but this is moving towards the arcade if you get what I'm saying so mm, yeah but I think it looks amazing anyway it's moving on originally titled Avatar Motocross Madness the game slips into the shoes of the very own figure it, the game com course consists of standard races a rivals mode hot laps against the ghost of the developers an open world mode that lets you explore the Egyptian, Egyptian, Australian and Atlantic setting of the game, get, gathering coins and skill tokens. So I think that would level, obviously, money up and stuff to buy other stuff. A variety, a, a, a variety, variety of bikes are available to purchase, and you'll spend. The game's currency upgrading the various components to get a faster gripper and better overall performance. So yeah, like I said, kind of what I said of it really, where you upgrade your stuff. The gameplay loop is too far, it's just racing. You'll need to get a rhythm to be able to build on the balancing, tricks, speed and to configure the races to be able to perform to the best to win and go against your There are two kinds of boost. A basic boost, which is blue flame boost, what comes out the exhaust and everything. And an orange flamed that one what happens after you filled the blue bar up that results in the flames forming around your tires and basically gives you double the boost if you if you're able to be patient or iron don't use much boost or just avoid it altogether. Going for tricks with boost with boost gives you more high but increases the risk slash awards since you're you've attempted to go far and tougher tricks can be easily misjudged and the height is slamming to the ground below which is a uh, you know obviously a no 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 <laughs> anyway moving on this is my first ever review it's kind of a new series I might start if you don't like it, you know, don't hate cause it's from the first one. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get better. I'll, I'll get a professional. I'll, I'll get a job out of it, obviously, because I'm there good. Obviously not. But yeah, don't hate. Please, you know, just 
give them a bit of respect for trying to make a trying to you know trying to get something else started on my channel just not my live and close duty and yeah peace out goodbye